Facebook rebrands to Meta. This is going to be huge, guys. Now, this is going to be a digital universe, right? And the goal for this is to connect the physical world to the online world. And Facebook has spent millions and billions of dollars to build this metaverse, to build this digital universe for us, right? Now, from this, cryptocurrency is going to be very huge, very popular, because now it's going to have more utility built up on the blockchain. And when investors look at utility behind a coin or a token or any sort of blockchain technology, it's going to be huge, right? And the next thing is NFTs. Now, being in the digital world, NFTs can be very profitable. Now, imagine you can buy land, sell land, um, buy and sell avatars, whatever it is, for real cash, for real money, out in the real world. This is the opportunity that you have to learn and educate yourself about cryptocurrency and NFTs, right? So, like this channel or like like this video, subscribe to this channel, share this channel, right? This channel is all about education. Talk about the metaverse. Starting with the most important experience of all, connecting with people. Imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually. It has things that are only possible virtually and it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. Alright, perfect. <laughs> oh, hey Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hi. Hi Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space. Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? It's from the crater. I met in LA. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> hey, wait. Where is Naomi? Let's call her. Naomi. <laughs> hey, should we deal you in? Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho, hiding AR pieces for people to find. 3D street art? That's cool. Send that link over so we can all look at it. This is stunning. Okay, that is something. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, I love the movement. Wait, it's, it's disappearing. This is amazing. Hold on. I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it. Wow. Privacy and safety need to be built into the metaverse from day one. You'll get to decide when you want to be with other people, when you want to block someone from appearing in your space, or when you want to take a break and teleport to a private bubble to be alone. You're going to be able to bring things from the physical world into the metaverse. Almost any type of media that can be represented digitally, photos, videos, art, music, movies, books, games, you name it. Now, lots of things that are physical today, like screens, will just be able to be holograms in the future. You won't need a physical TV, it'll just be a $1 hologram from some high school kid halfway across the world. And you'll be able to take your items and project them into the physical world as holograms in augmented reality too. One part of this is Horizon Home, which is our early vision for a home space in the metaverse. Horizon Home is the first thing that you'll see when you put on your Quest headset. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose from, and in the future, anyone will be able to create one. We've just called it home until now because it's been missing something very important, people. Soon, we're going to be introducing a social version of home, where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. You'll be able to hang out, watch videos together, and jump into apps together. Then, there is Horizon Worlds, which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people. It's amazing. Horizon is designed to make it possible for everyone to create. And we're already seeing people build some really interesting experiences, from creating new games together, to throwing surprise parties in VR that family and friends around the world can join. Over the last year and a half, a lot of us who work in offices have gone remote. And while I miss seeing the people I work with, I think remote work is here to stay for a lot of people. So we're going to need better tools to work together. 
Let's take a look at what working in the metaverse will be like. Imagine if you could be at the office without the commute. You would still have that sense of presence, wow, shared nice. physical space, there's chance interactions that make your day all accessible from anywhere. Now imagine that you have your perfect work setup and you can actually do more than you could in your regular work setup. And on top of all that, you can keep wearing your favorite sweatpants. And as we focus more on work, and okay, frankly, so as we've heard your I'm feedback I'm just gonna stop broadly, it here. So that was just a quick demo of how it's gonna be and what it's gonna be like in the metaverse. Alright, so if you like this video, remember this channel is all for education for cryptocurrency and blockchain plus NFTs as well. Like the video and share it. I'm really trying to get at least a thousand followers or subscribers before 2022. Okay, so let's go.